everyone i hope you're all doing super well and welcome to my little paint with me session of a rabbit and also i want to show you my little quest that i went on to find a cup of coffee because in fact i have given up coffee for the past few months because i was kind of on a health kick but i finally made it to a cafe and i was just laughing because whenever i'm with someone they always make a joke out of the fact that i'm on my phone recording uh, and when i returned i actually found this cute little fox waiting so there's inspiration everywhere now in this painting uh, if you actually were interested in the stories behind my paintings and the techniques and everything, please follow me on Instagram and I will follow you back if you're a creative person. And yeah, all the information is on there. So the topic of this video today is actually all about patience. And the reason why I don't really have much patience, but why I'm also trying to train myself to become more patient. Now with oil painting one of the biggest assets is to have patience because it is not the easiest painting technique but also because it's a so so it takes so long to dry you have to have patience to wait for the layers to dry but also you have to be patient in terms of not over blending in the first layer particularly or the second layer even or any layer actually because if you do so and the paint is really wet if you blend so much sometimes you can end up with a kind of muddy mess now this isn't really a problem with me that much because I use kind of more glazing fat over lean techniques and so it's not really that uh, big of a problem in terms of creating sort of a, mu a muddy look but what's more difficult is having the patience to wait for each layer to dry and then also to actually finish with the final intricate details and I do really enjoy doing details but sometimes when I get to the end of the painting I'm sort of so tired of it that I think okay well it's still quite detailed so I'm just gonna leave it and it's not the best strategy because afterwards when I go back I always think oh actually I need to do more detail so I will even sometimes a few weeks later, go back to an old painting and just kind of touch it up. And so I'm trying to sort of train myself to be more disciplined when it comes to being patient and not to rush my paintings, particularly at the end. This situation only happens at the end because I think, okay, I'm near the finish line, I'm just going to go for it. And actually, whenever I've been in any kind of art class or worked with other artists, I've always been the first one to finish my paintings and whilst they have always said oh that's amazing because you're so fast it's actually not quite the case I don't think I am a very fast worker I think I'd say I'm about average I'm not really slow I'm not really fast but I've just finished because I've just felt that's enough that's it it's done and then I try to move on from it but I think it's not the best strategy because I would actually like to have the patience to continue and to fulfill my you know full dream of how I wanted the painting to come out because sometimes the dissatisfaction with my pieces in the end is because I haven't spent the time I haven't taken I haven't slowed down I haven't taken the time to really look at the work really step back really think about it and even though my paintings do take a long time anyway uh, it's always that end point where I just rush it too much so I'm trying very hard to be more paid also funny is that the art shop where I normally order my supplies from they have been quite frequently sold out of things because of lockdown and because of coronavirus which is fair enough like I think they still have been so amazing considering the situation that we've been in they still have had a lot of products they've been getting everything in but I they'd run out of a colour that I really wanted to get and they emailed me and said it's actually only available in about three months and ordinarily I would have just cancelled it and thought oh, I'm just going to get another colour I just will get a different one that will substitute it but this colour that I particularly wanted it was it's a really really amazing pigment and it's one that I've never worked with before and so I thought to myself I'm going to be patient I'm going to be good and I'm going to wait until <laughs> until they have it back in stock so i I'm waiting and actually finally it's coming really soon I think in like a couple of days and I can't believe that I didn't cancel it because I'm so as I said before because I'm such an impatient person it, I was more likely to have cancelled it and just got something else like a similar colour and they have also sold out of the panel size that I really want 
And luckily that's coming back in stock quite soon. But I was thinking, oh, I'll just get a different size. And I've done that so many times and I've been really dissatisfied with the size that I've got. So instead of just getting any old size, I'm actually being strict and waiting for the exact size that I want. So I won't get something that is too big or too tiny and I will have the perfect size. So then I can't complain and whinge about it. <laughs> The example of my impatience actually and this is just about kind of everyday life is that sometimes when there is a delay of transport trains I'm not so bad about because basically trains are delayed so frequently especially in London so I don't get too uh, angry about that or too impatient it's not really anger actually that I get I just get really kind of frustrated that I'm not going to get to somewhere when I thought I was going to get there but with trains I've got so used to it I'm not too bothered but one thing that I can't stand is when flights are delayed now I'm not going to be going on a flight anytime soon so it's not something that will concern me in the near future but in the past whenever I've uh, been on a flight and it's been delayed quite often flights and are delayed by more than you know 20 minutes or, or like a similar time a train would be delayed sometimes it's sort of a couple of hours, sometimes four hours, five hours, that type of thing, because I'm not, uh, I don't really like flying. I'm not the best flyer. I do fly, even though I do have a slight fear of flying, but it's just the in anticipation of having to get on the plane and get to where I want to go. And so if there is a delay in the flights, I am the worst person to be around. So I literally just sit there in misery thinking, why isn't the plane coming? So I do hope you enjoyed this little oil painting time lapse and I will see you next week. Take care, guys.